I think the walkway sort of sneaks up on you in a way. You walk from the car park, you go past the Welcome Building, and then it sort of, it looks like a very sort of unassuming timber walkway, which you're then presented with. And it hides its full length as well, so you start walking on it, and then you're not really fully expecting it to be so long and take you where it takes you. And then when you're on it, you then get taken to different trees and different canopies. And so I think it's fascinating actually that it is a journey and it's not clear from the outset what you're going to get. The Western Burt project is a big master plan project at Western Burt that has been under development for quite a while. It was being considered that Western Burt as the National Arboretum needed to change um, in the early 2000s to meet the expectations of visitors but also to respect that it was a Grade 1 registered park and garden. At the time, visitors used to park on the grass, under the trees. They used to pay via a little timber shed and they didn't fully appreciate the um, national importance of the Arboretum or understand its heritage and the importance of the tree collection and what the staff on site here do to look after the trees and um, make it what it is today. Bureau Happold were a vital part of the team that helped deliver these key projects at Western Burt, bringing in their, obviously their engineering skills into the team, particularly with the walkway and the welcome building project. That was a key part of the project to make sure we had really good engineers to help us achieve our vision. Having engineers that really wanted to work as part of the team, but also being so proud of the project themselves and feeling like they were part of a bigger team was really important. So the key aims for the client were obviously to open up this woodland and open up the landscape to the public and help them with the interpretation and guiding them through their visit. And the Welcome Building provides that as a, as a facility to help them arrive, ticketing and, and interpretation. But in using timber, we've tried to also show a little bit of what timber can do and help with the Forestry Commission's wider aim, which is to promote the use of timber. And the building sort of exemplifies that, both in its cladding and its frame and everything. And we've worked very closely with them to maximise the use of timber in that building and minimise the use of steel. We worked very closely with Glen Howes Architects. They had a vision for both elements and we very much worked together collaboratively to develop up a vision which worked both architecturally and structurally and really told the story of timber as well, showed what we can do with the material and given buildings that hopefully will age with the timber. The architectural concept on the Welcome Building, it's a very small building, so what we wanted to do was, as the word suggests, is do something which was quite normal and traditional in terms of a building, and that's why it's a picture roof building, but all of a sudden that it would be memorable through one or two things. And so for the Welcome Building, it was doing a picture roof building, but actually what's welcome about it is it opens its arms and welcomes you. So that was it, that was the idea behind it. And it was a deep understanding of how timber performs over time has been probably the greatest benefit because that advice sort of permeates everything from the cladding all the way down to the structure. It's, it's invaluable. And the second project that we worked with them on was the steel treetop walkway. The walkway was a chance for people to get up into the trees, experience the being in the treetops and see the place from a different direction really, in a different angle. So it's uh, part of an overall vision for the site. We wanted to make sure the walkway met the brief in terms of a whole range of visitors being able to enjoy it. So having the fairly open balustrade so that small children can look out into the tree collection and not be faced with a mesh panel was an important decision taken. As well as the location of the walkway, working so closely alongside the trees and working around the trees as much as we could was an important part of delivering the walkway. The story, before we started to attach any structural or architectural ideas to it, was to do something which was really elegant, all sorts of levels. So, number one, is it related to the landscape? Number two, it incorporated the material which, of which it was surrounded by. And then the third one is that it was... The fifth, the fifth elevation was one from underneath. It had to look great from underneath, as well as from the sides and the top. So that was the ambition for it, really. For a structure, is quite an unusual structure. You'd obviously normally try and keep your structures away from trees. You worry about tree roots. You look at foundation depths to try and not have that impact of the trees. Here, almost the brief is quite the opposite. Get the walkway as close to the trees as possible. 
And in doing that, you've also got to be very careful that you don't damage the trees. So we've worked very closely with the Forest Commission to, to map a route through for the structure, but also to design in some ability to adjust the structure and accommodate any movement that happens due to the tree roots. So if they affect the foundations, we've got some adjustability in the vertical tie rods to allow us to actually replumb and readjust that walkway and bring it back into its original intended degree of level as it goes through. So that's sort of one particular challenge with things that are near to trees, but we managed to achieve a solution here that we're hoping will, uh, will give it a long life. We find that on the best projects, there's a, there's, 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 it's sort of a triangle. We've got the architect, the engineer, and then we've got the maker. And I think what was really great as well was, was, was bringing all that team together and meeting the challenges of how, without damaging the landscape, we then inserted this, this piece of structure, stitching it into the landscapes, just missing the tree roots, the clever solutions for the underground works, minimising the amount of concrete in the ground. The idea that this thing nimbly walked through the forest and was very gentle in the way that it arrived in the forest, so I think it was very important. One of the main aims for the steel treetop walkway was to increase visitor numbers, uh, which has been achieved. We've, um, numbers have gone up by about 25% um, from the previous year and have continued to, to stay um, at put that level at the moment, which is great and it's meant that we've been able to reinvest that extra income from admissions back into the site, resurface some footpaths from Woodchip into uh, Cotswold stone paths um, to open up this important part of the Arboretum to more visitors. For all these projects I think the fun thing is working with the client, having a chance to really understand their business and get in and understand what, what drives them and also here to have almost I think over half a million people have had walked across the walkway so far just shows the impact and regularly getting um, friends and family and all sorts of people coming and mentioning they've been on there and they've come on the walkway and just to have that interaction and my sons love going on there so it's a great uh, opportunity for them to enjoy some of the work that I do. I feel incredibly proud that we, what we have achieved, particularly with the walkway and uh, facing a number of challenges along the way and building such an unusual structure. Coming up here when children uh, run past you or families are happily looking at the trees around them or saying, oh, look at this, what, what can we see up here today is um, an amazing feeling and to be part of that team that delivered this project is a once in a lifetime opportunity. 